Hello and welcome to Lehigh University's Department of Biological Sciences. My name is Amber Rice and I am one of our evolutionary biologists along with the co-director of our graduate program. In our department, we have just over 20 faculty and around 40 PhD students at any one time. This student to faculty ratio allows for some really close mentoring relationships and a lot of individual attention, which is something that makes our program stand out from many others. We offer a PhD in biology and students can choose from one of four different research concentrations. These concentrations include biochemistry, cell and molecular biology, neuroscience, and evolution and behavior. While in our program, students work on cutting edge research projects, gaining training and experience that prepares them to go on to positions in industry or academia. I work in developmental biology research and what I try to do is um, reduce the levels of protein um, to see if that causes similar defects that we see in human developmental diseases. Uh, so I'm injecting these embryos with morpholino to knock down protein levels. Uh, so this morpholino targets a specific protein or mRNA and it will reduce the protein level in the embryo. Well, if you can see here clearly, that is the very tip of my electrode that is filled with electrically conducted solution. And here what you see is a neuron that is very important in the sound localization circuitry. This computer can tell these machines to inject different amount of current to evoke different amount of um, response from this neuron. Then it's essentially directly talking to the neuron using this cool apparatus. So basically this is a hodgepodge of anatomy work, Immunohisto immunohistological work, here electrical physiological work, and computer science work afterwards. So to sum up, it's super, super cool. Hi, I'm Greg Lang. I'm an associate professor and co-director of the graduate program in the Department of Biological Sciences. My lab studies genome evolution in the budding yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae. What I want to tell you about today, however, is what you can expect as a prospective graduate student in our department. Your first few years, you will be taking classes and you will be getting your research program up and running. In the first year, most students will do one to three rotations through different laboratories. Rotations are not required, but they're a nice way for you to try out different labs before you join. At the end of the first year, we hope that you will found an environment a mentor and a project that suits you and you have chosen a thesis lab. In your second year, you'll continue to take classes. And at the end of your second year, as you come to the completion of your coursework, you'll hit really the first milestone in your graduate career, and that's the qualifying exam. In our department, the qualifying exam is a proposal that you write based upon a project that's unrelated to what you expect to do for your thesis work. This gives us a way of assessing your ability to, to think like a scientist, to develop a hypothesis, and then to design specific experiments to test that hypothesis. After you've passed the qualifying exam, you're now into year three. Most of your coursework is done and you're really getting the research gears you know, up and running. At the end of your third year, you'll hit the next big milestone and that's the candidacy exam. So just like you did in the year before, you're going to write a research proposal. This time, however, you're going to write the proposal based upon what you plan to do for your thesis work. At the same time, you'll form a committee based upon internal faculty at Lehigh as well as external faculty in your chosen area of, of study. This committee will then be a second mentoring body to really guide you through the remaining two years of your PhD. Today I'm going to be uh, micro dissecting a fly brain. Um, so we do this because I study Parkinson's disease and we count the actual dopaminergic neurons that are lost in models of uh, Parkinson's disease and Drosophila. What we'll do is that I'll take a fly using a forcep um, and then I'll go under the scope and I will dissect the brain out of the fly. And so this usually only takes me about two minutes and then we can use this brain to then count later, pipette up the brain 
into my pipette and it's really small so you can't particularly see it and then I will put it into fixative to then let the brain fix for 20 minutes. So at Lehigh we support our students and we guarantee financial support for 12 months per year for five years. This support can come really in one of three ways. The first is as a, an RA. What this means is that your mentor has external grant money, typically NIH or NSF in this department, and that that money is used to cover your stipend. The second way you can be supported is as a TA. What this could mean is that you're teaching. You could be a laboratory section or two as a grading TA or as a recitation TA, and that this teaching support covers your stipend. And the third way that you can be supported are through these departmental uh, endowed fellowships. These fellowships are awarded uh, in a semester by semester basis, and they're typically for post candidacy students that are making outstanding progress towards the aims of their, their thesis. Now, most students are supported by a mixture of these models. They may be an RA one semester, a TA the next semester, and a fellowship the next. And so you'll get some experience um, typically on, on different modes of, of support. Mainly the research area that interests me, also the faculty and staff show interest in your studies and your well-being, they make you feel at home, and last but not least, the beautiful campus full of trees. Um, I feel like my graduate experience is very unique because I get to do research in the woods uh, that surrounds campus, so I get to know the area even better. Um, I feel like the research I get to do contributes largely to my unique experience because I get a big, a big mix of lab and field work. I have lots of collaborations with cryen groups. They offered me lots of insights from structural biologists as well as experimental inputs. This is a beautiful, quiet yet lively city. Good food, live music, Historical views are all here. Taking a walk in the nature is super easy too. It's quiet enough to concentrate on the research itself, yet offers enough opportunities for leisure life outside study and research. At Lehigh, in our department, we really see graduate students as the backbone, that they are the drivers of, of our research, and they're the ones that allow us to bring our research visions to fruition. And as such, we make sure that our graduate students have the financial support, the resources, and the mentorship they need to be successful. Students who have graduated with a PhD from our department have gone on to do many exciting things, from careers in industry at top biomedical and biotech companies, to teaching positions at undergraduate colleges, to postdoctoral research positions at a variety of top universities across the country and even around the world. Thank you for your interest in Lehigh University, and we hope to see you here.